Good morning everyone. Today we'll be studying a new subject known as data structures. We begin with the first unit of data structures which is just an introduction to data structures. This subject is introduced in the second year of diploma, second year of BSc IT or BSc Computer Science as well as second year of engineering. This forms to be the very crux of uh, any computer science subject which we go for. And to be precise enough, students usually feel that this subject is the toughest subject of their curriculum. But mind well, going through the videos, this subject will become a fun for you and you will be able to understand each and every concept very clearly under this one. The topics which we are going to cover up in the due course are what is the introduction to data structures, the concept of ADT or an abstract data type, types of data structures, there are basically two types, linear and non-linear, and the operations of various operations on data structures. To begin with, how can we call a program is efficient? Now, all of you have come from either your 10th standard or 12th standard where somewhere you have learned programming. Now, whenever you write a program, you have always been asked to write down an efficient program or an optimal program. How do you call a program is going to be efficient? If it runs correctly, that means it gives you the output as per your uh, requirements. It's very easy to read and understand. Okay, you have written a program which is very, very difficult for us to understand. So it's really going to be difficult if somebody asks you to debug in that program. So as a result of that, it has to be quite easy to understand. It's easy to modify in case if your teacher tells you that, okay, these are the flaws in the program. You need to modify them. So you should be able to modify them. And it should be also easy to debug. If there is any problem and you're not getting the output correctly, you should be able to find out where are you going wrong. So that is how you have to debug the programs. So in this subject of data structures, we are going to study a hell lot of data structures which are there with you. They are, let's say, in short, I'll be uh, discussing each of these data structures like stacks. You will be knowing what is a queue. You will be understanding what is a tree, what is a graph, etc. And mind well, students, this is something which you are going to need till the end of your career. If you go for any competitive exams or you go for jobs, for interviews, this subject is always going to help you a lot because the logic which you learn in this subject, you apply it in all the other subjects in your future. To begin with, what is exactly a data structure or what are the types of data structure which we have? It represents the organization of data in the computer memory on which operations like insert, delete, update can be performed. Now, let's say I am asking you to store any data inside the memory. Now, when I'm asking you to store some data into the memory or just take a simple example, if I am telling you to just pick up all the stuff which you take in the morning in the college and dump in your bag, it depends upon how organized you are, the way you arrange your bags. Let's say I'm picking up all my items, my tiffin, my umbrella, my uh, uh, bottles, everything I'm picking up, I'm just throwing it in my bag and I'm leaving for my college. Now the thing is going to be that my bag is going to be quite uh, not in a proper way, right? Uh, you will not have the bag in a balanced way. Like in case if you arrange the things properly, like if I arrange my defense on one side, if I have my bottle on another side, if I have umbrella, if I have my purse properly kept, right? So this is how I'm organizing the data inside my bag. So even if my bag is small, it still appears to be organized for me. But in case if I don't arrange the data properly, it's going to be a mess, right? So it represents the organization of data inside the computer memory on which the operations like insert, delete or update can be performed specifically. Data structure is basically a group of data elements included under one name 
that is students data employees data you must have heard this when you go to your college all the students database is maintained now database is maintained in some format like in colleges we usually maintain it using excel so we have rows and columns pattern so that is the excel pattern which we are maintaining right so that is where students data is maintained now this is how a database is maintained but the database gets maintained with the help of some data structure so if you go and check excel which is in the form of a row and a column this also is a kind of data structure to you the data structure defines a particular way of storing and organizing data so that it can be used efficiently thank you everyone